Hello everybody and welcome to it. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a website and how I personally created my website. Here's what my website looks like. If you don't know, I have a website that's kind of acts as a portfolio for me and also hosts a lot of my graphics that I offered for free to my followers. That's kind of why I made a website is because I wanted my followers to be able to download my free designs and graphics that I was creating. And then I also wanted to have a portfolio for like my academics and for YouTube and stuff to look back on. So that's where we're going to be starting with the whole process is you need to first start thinking about why you want a website and what you want it to be about. That's overall the whole reason and thing that you need to figure out in the first place. So once you have that, then we can move on to the next step. Also, just for a couple questions right off the bat, is this whole process did take me actually a lot shorter than I thought. It only took like a couple days, maybe a week max to get my website up and running because I was in a rush trying to get it up. Because at the time I was also posting my big video of MacBook customization and I wanted everybody to be able to find the graphics super easily. So I did this all super quick but sometimes it'll take people weeks or maybe even months to do this all. Then later on in the video I'm going to try and do my best to at least give you some resources on how to figure out how to monetize your website. But okay I'm going to get on a screen recording on my MacBook so that I can literally walk you through my exact steps. I did use Squarespace to build my website. They are actually sponsoring this video today and I actually had my website created with Squarespace before I even started working with them so obviously I didn't just choose this website building platform just because I was working with them. I genuinely love them and started using them before our partnership. So first you're going to use the free trial to make this website that we're about to do and then once you are ready to launch which I will show you how to do also you should go to squarespace.com slash Julia Chris to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. All right let's go ahead and flip over to a screen recording real quick. First what we need to do is go to squarespace.com to get started. Go ahead and go click get started and then it comes up with all the templates I will be honest I've been looking to try and find the template that I started with but it was a while ago before they updated to a new version and the template that I had is no longer on here so we're going to use a blank template and see what we can do and try and build it from the ground up but we'll see how it goes once that all loads up you will title it so I literally just tell it on mine like Julia K Chris example continue edit pages, create pages, style your site. All right, here's what our blank template looks like, but I'm going to show you guys kind of what the behind the scenes of what my page looks like. So I have all these, and then I have a lot of these that aren't linked. So we're gonna go ahead and just start building away. As you can see, I kind of already have this on the side. We can go ahead and edit that and edit the site head. First on the site header, we're gonna go ahead and turn on button links, add those up there. And then on mine, I also had a button up there at top and I wrote YouTube and I literally just had that go to www.youtube.com slash Julia. I did this because although there is a YouTube one right there, I wanted another one just to really get people to go to my YouTube page. And for the social links, all you do, this is all you have to do is just go in and save it. Same with this one, just change it all. This one, I don't wanna link my Facebook, so we're going to remove Facebook. And there we go. Also looked like I had Pinterest, so there we go. We'll click done up there because we're done with that. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding some blank pages and we'll write design freebies. All right, so these are obviously going up there. All right, so now we are on the design freebies page, but we're going to add a section before, literally just a headline. And it looks like, we'll click just this type. For each header, all I really did was freebies. And I write my text. Blah, 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 blah. Then I didn't have this button, so we're just gonna delete that. And as the background, you, oh, sorry, I'm doing this so fast. So what you do is you go and you click this little button over here, then change it to background, and you can replace it with your own photo. And how I got this photo right here is I designed that myself on Procreate, and then 
airdropped it to my MacBook and put that as that. So obviously it's not that. So we're gonna just make it a color for now because I don't know where I originally had that graphic. So that's what it is. This is what we'll do. You can also change the size of this section. It looks like that's the size of mine. Then when it gets down to how I did all of this, what I did was I took photos on my phone as the size. Um, what you do is you change the sizing from the four by three to the 16 by nine. And then I took pictures of all of my own devices with my little greenery plant, took the picture, and I edited every picture with my preset, so that's how it looks very cohesive, is that I edit them all so that it would like mesh well together, and then I uploaded it. We're gonna scrap this whole little thing that I have, that whole gallery, and we're gonna click add section. We're going to add a little blank section, and then we're going to click this plus, click image, and then this is where you will insert the image of whatever laptop or whatever you're wanting to have. I don't know, I'm gonna just put a random picture of me because I don't have these pictures anymore. And eventually the formatting will all work once you have multiple in line, if that makes sense. So once you get them all, you can adjust them to be like this if you're wanting to make something like this. But for now, I'm gonna show you how you can add the little text on it. You go over to design and click on that and click poster. And then you're going to edit the text, go away. And write whatever you're wanting to write. So we're just gonna write merch. And highlight that and make it heading whatever. And there you go. So that's kind of how I did that. Um, I'll really quickly, while we're at a little standstill, um, go show you how to change the fonts on everything. So you'll go onto your main page and click design and site styles. So then fonts, and you're going to just pick out whatever fonts, um, show you what ones I have on mine. Here are all of my fonts for my whole website. You can do with that as you please. I'm not gonna go change it on here, but that's what it looks like. And then here are my colors as well. That's what they look like. Um, I'll quickly go through all those so you can see the percentages and such. And that's it for my actual styling of my website. Obviously, that's up to you to change and make however you're wanting. I feel like everybody has their own styles. So don't copy my exact website. I'll be a little sad. <laughs> All right, so now we've messed with that. I'm going to show you now how you can link this picture to go to a different website. So example, if you're on my website and um, you could click on my macbook screensavers and it's going to take you to a page called macbook screensavers where people can download all this stuff so um what you'll do is click on the page well actually no first we need to make the page that we're wanting to go to so we're going to go over to pages and we're going to make one under this not linked category so just click the little button blank page and then i'm going to make this on macbook Screen savers, period, perfect. And then we'll go back to design freebies, edit up in this top corner for us to be able to even do anything. We'll click on the image, click the little pencil, and then on here where it says link, we're going to click on image so that if they click on the whole image, it'll send them to it. And then we're gonna click this little gear and you can actually link it to that page that we just created. So we'll click there and do MacBook screensavers. And you can obviously decide whether you wanted to open a new window or not. It's up to you. And then you'll click save and there you go. So whenever you click on that, it'll take you to the MacBook screensavers. And from there, obviously you make your section and write whatever MacBook screensavers. And for all of my design graphics, the way that I did that was, we're gonna have a blank section, Let's hover over until you find the little plus, and we're going to add an image. And then we're going to upload the file. We'll just add a wallpaper that I've done. And while that's loading, I like to go in and add the link to the file. So you'll click that little settings, file, upload file, and then here's where I upload the corresponding file. Obviously, sorry, I keep saying that. And once you do this, you have to make sure to select this and click save. So then now, whenever somebody comes and clicks on this photo, it's automatically going to download the file for them on the website. And we're going to remove this background photo. 
I don't want it to be that. And there we go. So you're getting the general gist, obviously, then you just keep continuing to add pictures and files. On my website, I have a portfolio page where I have my past work examples, but then I also have my campus involvements. You do that by adding a page and clicking portfolio, and you can choose however you want it to be. Obviously, it's just like a lot of creative freedom with this. You can choose whatever direction you want to take it in. I'm not going to show you guys the exact processes for every single thing that I did because I don't want you guys to make an exact clone of my website. The point of this video is just to show you guys how it's possible and like give you the easiest way to do this all. Okay, so as you can see on mine, I have so many hidden pages. Definitely take advantage of that. Um, these are all buttons with my links. I created a special button for each link, so that's how you can do that. Last thing I'll go over is how to add in your advertisements. What you need to do is set up a page with Google AdSense. It does take a while to get approved for this. And then once they give you a code to inject into your website, I looked up a tutorial because it was very confusing. I can tell you that it's somewhere over in settings and then advanced and code and I'm not going to show you guys the exact stuff just because I don't want it to somehow fire back on me, but there are plenty of other like very in-depth tutorials about how to do that. It was a big learning process for me. It was so confusing, um, but I will show you guys an average on how much money I make off of my Google AdSense for my website. So as you can see about each day I make like 40 to $50 off my website just by like how many people view it. It. Obviously, my page views are affected by all my followers and people coming to my website for graphics. Like, that is insane to me that like 15,000 people come to my website every day. Like, that's insane. <laughs> this is just how it is. Very blessed. I would definitely suggest learning how to do AdSense if your website that you're going to create is very heavily trafficked so that obviously like, you have a lot of visitors, if that makes sense. Another thing that I love about Squarespace is that you can go to the analytics and you can see how many people are visiting your page. So that's how many people have visited it, unique visitors, page views. Like, that is crazy to me that that many people have seen my page. This activity log also shows me literally like people's IP addresses and stuff like that. This one shows how many people are on what pages, so it looks like most people are always on my design freebies, which is so fun, and it can show you how long they spend on that page too. Okay, so next, after you have your website, to launch it, you have to purchase a domain. You're going to go to domains and get a domain or use one that you own, and then this is where you will use my code if you're interested. I'm not going to click that because this is obviously like a really fake website and I don't want this to go, but that will show you all the steps from there of what you have to do. I personally have the personal plan for my Squarespace plan as well. It does charge me every once in a while. In April of 2020 is when I first started this. I paid annually for my personal subscription and I paid $72 because I used my education thing. I'm not sure what I was doing, but it looks like I switched it from personal to business. I don't know. <laughs> and then a purchase of a domain is $20, which isn't bad in my opinion. I love having it literally just be juliakchris.com. If you guys have any questions about anything, please let me know and I will try my best to help you out. But I honestly feel like it's very self-explanatory. Did not take me very long to figure out the ins and outs of how to use it. You just click the edit button and go from there. Again, to get started with this whole process, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then whenever you are ready to launch your website after you've done all your customizations and everything go to squarespace.com slash julia christ to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or website such a good deal if you're already gonna be using squarespace to make your website might as well I'm trying to help you guys out a little bit i wish i would have had that when i was first buying mine but yeah that is basically the ins and outs of everything hopefully this was helpful i highly suggest having your own website it just is so fun it's helped me a lot academically. I've been able to just put a lot of my schoolwork there and portfolios there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Hey,